Animaniac as we guide you through Optic Gaming against Bil Below Zero in the lower bracket. Optic Gaming facing that 3-1 defeat by Denial, sending them down here, but Below Zero really bringing the fire to them. They really are. What a way to kick off this Optic versus Below Zero series, 198 to 184. Rel, as we saw there in that hard point, that came down to the last minute. That was amazing, but of course, we are going from that hard point straight into our S&D, which is going to be on Riot. Yeah, and uh, this is Riot. You can see this little overlay. We've got plant time, five seconds, diffuse time, 7.5 seconds standard competitive rule set that's going to be used here for the eSports. There's target A, the conventional A bomb push usually comes into play, but we do sometimes see a little sweep around to the B bomb side if the teams are feeling adventurous. Yeah, that's what you usually see, of course. And I'll tell you what, there might be some plays mixing things up here from both teams. Optic Gaming, of course, they can't be shown up by Below Zero. Surely the underdogs in this one. And, of course, on the flip side, Below Zero want to give it to one of the best teams in the world. So let's see what they can do. Rel, who are we kicking it off with? Uh, we're going to kick things off with Nade Shot here, uh, a heavy objective player. And I think he really does shine when it comes to search and destroy. So here comes the sniper rifle. And surprisingly, by an Optic member there, and he's just going to hold back. Nobody actually made the push up top A. No, which is really surprising, actually. So look at the huge rotation here down towards the bottom side of the map. Who is that? That's Wolf coming at you. Wolf just coming out of the bushes there. He's coming stalking up on this Optic squad. He's going to find one just to his left, perhaps, up on top of that roof. If he has a look, Flots one gets him. That's Crim6 taking an early fall here. And before you know it, Rel, two players of Optic Gaming are already down. Oh, yeah. I mean, when it comes to Hardpoint Solar, I'm sure that Optic Gaming have bad memories of that. It was the only map that they did drop against phase red during the na regionals to actually qualify for their position here at call of duty world championships where they've came in first seed let's not forget going up against below zero now on board with nature still trying to scout out scout out a player as we see a two versus three situation yeah he saw one player pass that doorway as soon as he saw another on those stairs he very wisely backed up he knows that he's only got formal to back him up right now so it's a 2v3 situation numbers game is against them but nate shot gets assault i don't know where there but godlike still carries his form from the last game to take down formal we now have a 1v2 nature the only one left alive he needs to make a clutch move oh. takes down one the player oh. up on nature almost going clutch there i thought godlike was going to choke but rally picks it up and takes two kills in this first round yeah great play from godlike he is going to get both of those kills and the diffuse as well first round goes to odds below zero some great search and destroy play from them i've got to say even though they are one round down i'm still favoring optic gaming to bring this one back you know yeah look i mean optic gaming their experience, their professionalism, they've been good under pressure many, many times before. But look, who's hungry for this, Rel? I know Below Zero really love it. I know they really want this, and I mean, to show it up to Optic Gaming would be quite impressive. There we go. Well, Godlike, he is top fragging for his team just off the back of that first round. Nice tactical grenade goes out as he does shut down Nate Shot. Former cleans up assault. Yeah, he's doing really well here. Godlike, three for nothing right now here in the S&D. And, of course, in that previous game in the hard point, he's the one that went huge for his team, chucked him in the backpack. They all did some cohesive pushes there on those hard points. And here in the S&D, he's still going to work and formal. Before you know it, the only one left alive for OG up against Godlike in the 1v1. Formal just showing how it's done there in the 1v1. He just gave it to Godlike. Oh my goodness, a formal does manage to pull off the one versus three and get the diffuse as well there on a hot four streak and five kills under his belt. Great play from him and formal's just starting to get fired up for this now and he needs to. This is search and destroy. This is the game type I would expect Optic Gaming to walk away with. Yeah, well he just gave these kids a spanking there in that one v three and this is what they need to shift the momentum back in their favor. They're gonna be back on the attack here. These guys from below zero have a challenge ahead of them to defend against this big push. Formal, he's going to be running point here with that SMG as per usual. He's going to probably be going around this corner here, waiting to see if there's going to be someone popping out, expecting to jump up just to check for that scope. He'll spot one on the far side. Decides to go for it. There's the jump up, gets the easy two-piece. Godlike delivers it to him on a platter. Excellent timing there from Formal. He waited for it, but since the player was sitting so still, he was like, Whatever, man, I'll go for the long range. Oh, well, Formal is going for the challenge. He wants another oh, kill, and he's going to get it against the Soul. As he gets shut down, Wolf is left all on his own now to take out four of the Optic Gaming members. And, boy, this is going to be a struggle for him. 
It's going to be formal. How dirty is this, though? He got the 1v3 last round. He's got three players so far. Wolfie coming out to challenge Krim. And who was that? I'm not actually sure who that was from OG who picked that up. But if that was formal, he just got the ace there on below zero. And yep. no, it wasn't. It was Scum. So Scum ended up cleaning that one up. But look. You must mention Formal getting six kills in the last two rounds. Yep, and that is exactly it. So it was actually Scump who threw himself around that corner, went for the challenge. I mean, at the end of the day, they had the man advantage. They knew they could do that. Throw everything they've got at him, they will come out on top. But this is just a Formal show for Optic. Eight to one after just three rounds of search and destroy is absolutely phenomenal. We are going to stay on board with the attacking side as per usual. This time, let's see what's going on with Reppin. Yeah, Reppin, of course, he's always bringing it in these games. The high pressure, high intensity games, he did it against Calibai and he's doing it again against uh, Optic Gaming. Crim6 takes an early fall, uncharacteristically so. So Reppin has now got even money in his KD and look at this, a very fast play from these guys at below zero. Reppin gets two, oh. gets three. Oh my gosh, Scomp, the only one left alive from Optic Gaming. And you know who's hungry for it? Reppin's hungry for it. These guys are going to be dancing very close to each other. Scump, obviously, on this third platform rail, he needs to stay alive right now. Yeah, Scump, a real star player in that Optic Gaming squad. Trying to flank around, trying to find a kill, but he gets caught off guard as it does now get tied up 2-2. I mean, Optic Gaming historically have a bit of a tradition here at Call of Duty World Championships. Two third places they have, and I know that this Optic Gaming squad tipped to be the first place runners for this tournament are looking to advance a lot further than this stage. Well, how much is this deja vu of the Calibre match? I this is exactly, I, you know, I couldn't have put it better myself. So this is when Team Caliber faced up against Below Zero. Uh, the first hard point game went 2-3-6 to 2-2-4 in favor of Team Caliber. And then it went 6-5 to Team Caliber last round. And the way this is panning out, I mean, we're probably going to be seeing a round 11, you know, in Mania. Are we gonna, is that the early prediction I'm from you, Rel? All say right, it. we're going to be seeing a round 11 here from Optic Gaming and Below Zero. Pressure's on for that to happen now. Nate shot. he's going to be trying to prove Rel wrong, though, shutting this down early if he can. He does have that ball in hand, Rocket the uh, slightly negative KD but was still very early it's only round five of this SND formal he's out here in the open cleans one player up from the guys of below zero so the numbers game now in the favor of optic gaming you see that bomb there trying to move very sneakily along the catwalk over to that B side crim6 just taking his time though obviously wanted to clear out these players first oh yeah crim6 hungry for a kill here four rounds of search and destroy pass currently in the fifth and he's yet to kill anybody but he is going to go for that bomb plant two versus two formal is no doubt going to be coming to support him very shortly but he's completely caught repping an assault of god there was nobody to defend that side how smooth was that rotation yeah he, he completely trolled me i thought he was definitely heading over to b side and he jumped straight up thought he was just going to be checking it but no fast rotation over there onto a street rips out the moors thermal and he's just going to be looking down the street waiting for these easy picks there we go crimson still staying alive alongside formal just going to go on board with repping and assault they've got the work to do with the diffuse repping's going to go down all to assault evens things up one versus one now and and the defuse. Yeah, that was a pretty ruthless challenge by Assault. Formal needs to come out and check this. Assault spotted him. They need the kill, but of course he needs to go for that defuse instead, decides to go for the kill. He does at least get the consolation kill assault, but of course he is too late to get the defuse. So you're going to be seeing Optic Gaming get that round. So after five rounds, Optic Gaming are ahead 3 2. Oh, yeah, and Formal played that perfectly there. I mean, he spotted the player. He knew that he wasn't going for the defuse, so he just tucked himself away behind that container, made sure that he stayed alive so that he could check it with uh, the seven and a half seconds remaining. Yeah, look, it was played very, very well by both teams there. One round separating these guys, and of course, below zero now out on the attack once again. Rel, tell me how you're feeling about both of these teams' gameplay so far. I think they're both just playing it really well. It's going that round for round. Oh, yeah, and I think it's just the, the same old story here, as I say, for Below Zero. They play so, so well under pressure. They're going up against the favourites to take the Call of Duty World Championship title, and they are bringing it to them. They've lost the first map, but only just. They're motivated, they're pumped, and they know they're in with a shot of taking this. Let us know how pumped you guys are at home by tweeting with that official hashtag, which is CODCHAMPS. 2015. Don't forget to be watching the competition tomorrow as well, where we'll be having a special preview of the Ascendance Call of Duty map pack, which will be coming out exclusively or first on Xbox on the 31st of March. However, the Diffuse here coming from the guys of Optic Gaming, and they're going to be going ahead here by two rounds. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. 
here, Rel. I'm pretty sure we saw Caliber go ahead by a couple of rounds, and then Blue, uh, sorry, Below Zero were able to come back. I think, it was, I think it was something like that. If my memory served me correctly, I, I think that was so. But in any case, it did go down right to the wire on a 5-5 game. Um, this is just the formula show right now. He has more kills than all of his teammates combined times two. That is how well he's playing here on this search and destroy. I take that back, actually, because another kill was made there, so he's just short of that. But still, a really impressive margin. 13 kills and only three deaths for Formal. That is amazing from Formal. Would you expect anything less, though? I mean, he's rocking it so good with this bow. He does have that thermal in his back pocket waiting. Wolf was the man dropped earlier on here in this round. And look, we're about to see a gun battle. Scump coming off worse in that one. Assault picking it up, but Formal evening things up before Godlike for the guys from below zero responds we now have a 2v2 situation of formal nature shot versus godlike and rapid there we go formal just getting eyes on the bomb but he does get shut down leaving things down to nature shot one versus two up against rapid and godlike yeah and rapid he's been going huge and godlike as well both of these players nature trying to shut it down it's not going to happen godlike picking up the kill there so the next round is of course going to be going to these guys from below zero, four, three, back to a one point margin. We're gonna be seeing those guys from Optic on your screen. That's Nate Shot leading the charge. And the look on his face is probably a bit of confusion. I don't think he'd be expecting such a challenge from these guys at Below Zero, but they're bringing it here today at the Call of Duty World Championship presented by Xbox. Yeah, and it's just crazy to see the kill death spreads of each individual player. I mean, uh, when you look at it mathematically, Formal has 14 times the kills on this Search and Destroyers Crim6. So Crim6 is going to have to start picking things up, but it doesn't matter all that much just yet. Optic Gaming are still leading this, but it is going to be the quick plant here by Below Zero. Yeah, Salt picking up the big two-piece on Scump and Nadeshot. Formal and Krim respond by taking down Godlike. And also Reppin takes a fall there by Krim. So that's going to be leaving one alive. That's Wolf. The bomb has been planted over on B. And of course, he's just watching that. Two players left alive, Formal and Krim6. Formal, of course, the man, he's going absolutely nuts right now. He is going a whole bag of nuts as he picks up yet another kill and is going in for the defuse. Nine seconds left there. Oh my gosh. That was some great work there by the guys of OG Formal. Wow. Yeah, crazy, crazy play from Formal. 16 kills in just eight rounds of search and destroy. That's a ridiculous number. It's the most that I've seen so far this Call of Duty World Championship on a search and destroy that I've casted over. And we're not even finished. There's still rounds to play. The only time we've seen more than that, or I personally know of, has been Khalifa in the online qualifiers where he went 17. He got 17 kills and also 20 in another game. So I'm... I'm Picking Formal here, he could potentially pick up another one, depending, of course, if OG can shut it down right now. Here we go, the plant is going down. It's Krim6 who took the bomb all the way, and it goes down on A, the conventional bomb, bomb plant there. Krim6 just distancing himself enough now, and it's going to be a case now where Optic Gamer want to run the time down. They've only got to face off against two of Below Zero. Yeah, of course, they. those two are repping and assault, though. Two players you wouldn't normally want to mess with, but it is Formal and Krim. They're going to work. Krim picked up one. There was one player left for Below Zero, but it was cleaned up there. So Optic Gaming got to walk away after a very challenging start. 6-3 here in the S&D. Yep, and uh, that is great. 18 kills, 4 deaths by Formal. I cannot get over that figure that he's just put up here in Search and Destroy. It does end a fairly convincing victory then for Optic Gaming there. 6-3, a more notable margin. It was neck and neck initially as we were going into that. But the hard point game, that was the close one. 14 points separated the two. But still, Optic Gaming proved their dominance and they are leading this best of five series, two rounds to zero. That's a 4.5 KD for Formal. Crazy. That is absolutely bonkers. So, that's going to be game two here here in our series of Optic Gaming versus DA Below Zero. It has been intense so far, guys. As I've said before, make sure you're letting us know what you think of this series and keeping track of all of the action by going with that official hashtag, which is CODCHAMPS2015. I'm in Maniac, joined by Rel. We'll be back right after this.